Hi, this is Kumar Pramat. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you a few ways how you can close your uh, positions in PyScript trading. So here I have, um, for example, a very simple strategy. This is Bollinger Bands. And um, I have very simple rules to enter to my positions. So I enter a long position when my price cross over lower Bollinger Band and I enter to short position when my price cross under upper Bollinger Band. So it's quite simple. And let's assume I want to add some rules to close my positions. And for example, I want to close both short and long positions when my price crosses uh, Bollinger Band uh, basis level, so this red line. So how you can do this? So if you have just very kind of simple condition, you can use a strategy close function. So how it works? So um, strategy close function has only two argument. So first one, you need to specify, you need to specify what position do you want to close. So um, you need to specify of this, of the ID of this position, so it's long for me. And uh, second um, parameter is when statement, so you need to specify when do you want to close this position. So I want to close this position when my price will cross basis level. So that's it. And I will also create the same one for short position. But everything else is the same because we have the same condition for closing. So let's save it and see how it works. So now we can see that we already kind of, so it seems to work. So we closed our position when price is kind of closed below basis level. You can see that the only problem is that we kind of um, exited um, this position a bit lower here only at this level. And by default, the trading view works this way. If you use just basic kind of strategy NP function or strategy close function, trading view will always uh, open or close position at open of the next bar. So sometimes it might work for you, sometimes it might not. But what if, for example, you want to close your position exactly at this level, just at the moment your price crosses this level, what you can do? So to, um, it, it also possible and to do that, you need to use strategy exit function. So strategy exit function, it's, it's a bit more complicated. You can find there are probably dozens of different parameters, probably around, I don't know, 10 or 11. So you can find here quite a lot of stuff, but I need a limit order from this function. So, um, and it works, um, it, it's a bit more complicated to use it, but it's also quite simple. So first you need to specify, you need to specify ID for your um, closing order. So let's say I want to say, okay, long uh, exit ID. Next you need to specify uh, what, um, what position do you want to close? So I want to close a uh, long position. And next you need to specify other kind of parameters. How do you want to exit your position? What parameters you can use? So I want to have a limit order and I need to specify here price. So I will specify just basis and I will copy this stuff and I will create the same stuff for short position. So, but everything else is the same. They have they both have limit price as basis and that's it. So now let's save it and see how it works. And now you can see, so we already um, exited our trade here in the middle of this bar. So it seems to work quite good. The only problem you can uh, notice is that this is not exactly this price of the basis you have for this bar. And also this is a bit of limitation trading has. So point is here that um, when you use like strategy exit function, for example, this order will be created at the close of the previous bar. So we actually we exited uh, at price of previous uh, Bollinger Bands uh, basis level. And well, I don't think there is a way to override this because uh, this basis level is calculated also inside the bar. And it can actually have you can actually have some problems if you want to exit exactly at this level for this bar. But um, despite this, I think it works quite good. You can see, so it's quite quite simple. 
um, if you can actually go into strategy exit function to its description and you can find here quite a lot of interesting stuff so you can actually you can specify uh, quantity you want to exit from so you cannot just not to kind of close entire position just close it partially you can specify your profit and loss you can uh, specify stop loss here as well so it's quite quite powerful i think i will record another video only for uh, stop loss and um, profit targets it's also quite powerful and interesting but i think that's all for this video thank you for watching